painting for probably 25 years. My work evolved from a series of paintings I did during the birth of clouds. All the paintings you see are imaginary places. They're all begun, they all begin with some idea that I might see in a painting in a museum or a trip in Switzerland or just driving down the road in Hocassen. The way I started painting like this was I started drawing when I was in, on a trip in, in Amsterdam. And I was traveling by myself for a while. And I would get on a tram and I'd come to a stop at a tram and I would draw quickly what I saw outside the window. And I would go to the next stop and I would add something more from the next stop. And I would go to the next stop and add something more. Before I knew it, I had uh, an imaginary place that was based on six or seven different real situations. It's therapy for me. It's, um, when I get up and paint at night, I can have a very steady hand and I paint it just flows. It's like entering a different world. And I think if I didn't have that, I wouldn't be doing as well as I am with my Parkinson's. Well, I hope they can escape into the painting. There are certain ones that I'm trying to express a certain thing, like the loneliness or a, a distance or depth or Sometimes they're more successful than others. Well, it's very humbling. I don't paint to just to sell painting. It makes me feel good if I know my painting is in a home where it's appreciated. It gives you the satisfaction of accomplishment. It gives me a lot of satisfaction that I can still function. Uh, I, don't, I don't like talking about Parkinson's, but after 15 years of being diagnosed with it, to still be able to function and produce something that's respectable, it gives me personal satisfaction that I can accomplish something still. It's a journey. It's a, it's a sort of mystical journey, depending on what the how I'm dealing with uh, things in life. Might take a different turn. It varies.